I'll be presenting today's Radiopedia.org case in radiology, septic arthritis and osteomyelitis. Case courtesy is demonstrated here, and the case link is in the description below. Presentation, we have an 80-year-old male with a past medical history significant for type 2 diabetes who presents with a diabetic foot ulcer on the medial aspect of the left first metatarsophalangeal joint. Taking a look at the x-ray of the left foot, there's no cortical erosions or aggressive periosteal reactions. There's no subcutaneous gas. There is increased soft tissue swelling surrounding the first metatarsophalangeal joint. On Technetium 99 HDB bone scan, here are the dynamic flow images. We see that there's hyperemia involving the medial aspect of the left foot from the distal phalange of the hallux to the midfoot. This persists on the blood pool images. Additionally, we can see that there's intense focal osteoblastic activity localized to the left first metatarsal phalangeal joint, phalanges, and the metatarsal of the hallux. A radiograph often will not demonstrate any changes apart from soft tissue thickening in cases of osteomyelitis and septic arthritis. Changes may only be seen 10 to 14 days after onset in adults. A bone scan is a very sensitive study for osteomyelitis. The typical appearance is increased activity in the same location on all three phases, dynamic flow, blood pool, and delayed. Other differentials would include inflammatory arthropathies, acute fracture, and osteitis deformans from Paget disease. Uptake on the bone may persist for many months to years, even if the infection has been adequately treated.